Welcome back to our video classroom here at CSEC Math Tutor. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about taxes and discounts. And our objectives are mainly to apply percentages to real life situations. And that comes across in calculating taxes and discounts and applying those taxes and discounts to prices that you would pay when you go shopping. So the best way to do this is simply to look at questions and just work through those questions to give you a clear idea as to how to go about calculating taxes and discounts and applying those percentages to um, determining what your price would be when you go out to shop. So here is our first question and we're starting by looking at a television set priced at $1,600. And it has a VAT of 15%. VAT here means value added tax. And so to calculate the total amount a customer pays, what we're going to do is to determine, first of all, what, what in terms of money the VAT is. So it's 15%. So we know that 15% is 15 over 100. <clears throat> Multiply that by the cost of the TV set, which is 1,600. And here we have an easy, clear division. We can divide by 100 there. We end up with 15 times 16, and that gives us $240. And so to find how much the total amount the customer pays, what we need to do then is to add the $1,600 plus the 15% VAT, which comes up to $240. And that gives us a total of $1,840. We can do an alternate calculation in, in, in this sense. And I want to go through that to show you because this is, this is going to become very important later on. So our cost price is always 100%. And what we're doing here is adding 15% to our cost price. So 100 plus 15. Um, and that gives us a total of 115%. And so what we are actually calculating is 115% of 1,600. We are increasing that um, 1,600 by 15%, which means that that 100%, which it is initially, plus this 15%, brings it up to 115. And in doing this calculation, again, you will see that you will end up with 115 when you do that division here, multiplied by 16. And once you do that calculation, you're going to end up with 1,840. Note the difference in, in, in this calculation is that here, we calculated the tax first, then added it. The alternate calculation is to add the percentage to the cost price percentage, which is 100%, plus that other 15% gives us 115, and do one straight calculation, which ends up giving us the final answer in the end. So here, find a percentage and add it, or add the percentage to 100 and find 115% in this case of 1,600, and that gives us the price here. We're going to be doing that a number of times. So by the time we're finished with this lesson, you will get used to the idea of doing this. So here we are looking at another one. The cost price of an article is $40 and the profit is 20% of the cost price. So what is the selling price of the article? So the cost price is 40 and the profit is 20%, which means that we need to add 20% to this 40. So let's go ahead and find what 20% is. So 20% means 20 over 100 multiplied by the 40. We can divide this one out again. And so we end up with $8. And so 20% of 40 would be $8. And what that means now is that we can take that $40 and add $8 to it. And our sale price is therefore going to be $48. Now, alternately, again, we could do this by saying we are going to in increase that um, initial cost price, which is always 100%, plus that 20%. 
and that take note of 100 because percentage is out of 100. Um, so we end up with finding 120% of, of, um, of 40. Doing that, we recognize that we can do a division here, and here we have 4 times 12. And notice that 4 times 12 here gives us our 48, just the same. So we can add, we can calculate what the 20% is. Here we are calculating the 20%, then adding it to the cost price, or we can add that 20% to the initial cost price, which would be an equivalence of 100%, and therefore find 120% of 40, which gives us 48. Let's look at another one. In this case, this is a discount. So Jake buys a shirt marked at $80. He receives a 10% discount. How much does he pay for the shirt? So first we need to find what 10% is. 10% of, of $80. And so that would give us 10 over 100 multiplied by $80. Again, simple, easy calculation. We can divide by 10 here, and then we divide by 10 here, which gives us um, $8 for our work. So our discount here turns out to be $8. Now, what you do with a discount is that you subtract it, whereas with a tax, you add it. So a discount, we're going to subtract it. So that he buys a shirt marked at $80. So initially, it values $80. But he's going to get a minus $8 at the cashier. And so he's going to end up paying 80 minus 8 which means that he's going to pay $72. Now, how do we apply this idea when it comes to our, um, our discount? Now, the, the cost price is always 100%. And here we are taking out 10%. So we're going to minus 10 and put that over 100 and multiply that by 80%. So what we're actually ending up doing is finding 90% of um, $80 because that would be the price that you would pay. And we can do our divisions here, and we end up with nine times eight, which gives us $72. So depending on which approach suits you, um, most persons would just go ahead and calculate the 10% first and subtract it. But you could also do it this way by dealing with the percentage first and doing one calculation. Let's look at another one. And these are multiple choice questions. And when it comes to multiple choice questions, you need to be very, very careful in how you read. So let's start with this one. It says the cost price of a refrigerator is $1,850. A buyer who is given a discount of 5% for cash purchase will pay um, how much? So pretty much that's what it's asking. So if... Um, if you buy this refrigerator for cash, you're going to get a 5% discount. And if you do so, how much will you pay? So let's find five. Um, there are many ways to work this out. You could go ahead and find the 10%, find 5% rather, and subtract it. So 5 over 100 times 1,850. And we can do a division here. We can do a division here, five into 10 goes two. And so what we have is 185 divided by two. And 185 divided by two gives us 92.5. So what they're gonna be doing is to take off $92.50 from that price, which means that now we have $1,850 minus 92 dollars and 50 cents and when you do, the, do that calculation it's going to give you one thousand seven hundred and fifty seven dollars and fifty cents so this is how much the person would pay in which case your answer would be here um, at, at c now this one tom bought a pen for sixty dollars and sold it to gain a profit to gain twenty percent on his cost price so how much did he gain? So this question is not asking about 
cost price, uh, uh, um, selling price, is asking how much money he gained. So let us find what 20% of 60 is. So 20 over 100 multiplied by 60. Remember, you could turn them around if you want. You could say 60% of 20. Um, doesn't matter. But here we can do a simple division again, dividing by tens. And because it's multiple choice, you will tend to find that the division, if you look at it, will work out quite simply. So here we have 2 times 6, and 2 times 6 gives us 12. So how much money did he gain? That is the important question. And he will gain $12, which means that our answer would be A. But Perhaps you weren't noticing the question and you thought how much money did he pay instead of gain. Then you would have had 60 plus 12, which would give you $72, in which case your answer would be B. So my point in doing this is to say to you as student, when it comes to multiple choice, don't joke around with your reading. Make sure that you read your questions carefully because this one's saying how much will the customer pay with a 5% discount, the customer would pay this. But in this one over here, it's saying how much did he gain? So here we worked out a percentage and applied it to get a selling price. He would just work out the percentage and leave it as is, in which case your, um, your answer would be 12 and not 70, 72. All right, let's look at our final question. And our final question here says, during a sale event, the prices of all items were reduced by 30%. And so if they were reduced by 30%, calculate the sale price of a coat, which costs $5,000. So first we need to find what 30% of $5,000 is. 30% is out of 100, so we write 30 over 100, multiplied by 5,000. Which means that we can do a nice division here. Divide by 100, we get 50. So our answer would be 30 multiplied by 50, which gives us $1,500. Now, the, remember, it's a discount. It's reduced by 30%, which means that our 5,000 is going to be reduced by $1,500. So let's do that subtraction which means now that we have one from four, we are going to pay $3,500 for the coat because we got a 30% discount. Alternately, again, you could um, start off with your 100% and minus 30% from that. And therefore we're gonna multiply by 5,000 which in essence means that you're going to be finding 100 minus 30, you're going to be finding 70% of the price. So 70 over 100 times 5,000. We do our division there, and so we end up with 70 times 50, which gives you 7535, $3,500. Remember, you can find more practice questions by going to csegmathtutor.com, going to the worksheets, going to the past paper sections, going to the multiple choice sections. There are many, many multiple choice papers there that are organized by topic for you to practice from. Um, these questions with sale prices, cost price and all these things will pop up on your paper too, also on your multiple choice paper. So be aware of them. Get those past papers practice. Remember, you can always drop a question in the box if you're doing something and you don't quite understand it. And of course, someone will respond to your email and give you a guide as to how to work it out. Thank you for watching and continue working hard as you prepare for your exam. Best wishes.